professor. I guess. <laughs> right now, I'm next to Shelly and Corinne. And the reason why I'm next to Shelly, because this morning I had a traumatic event, but I had a woman call me up. She, her sister was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she was scheduled for chemotherapy Monday morning. I didn't flip out, but I said, I said oh my gosh, you got to do something. Why? I said, at least have her come in here, talk to me, this way give her another option, because we have a lot of women who are familiar with the, the other option. And when, an hour later, after I had this phone conversation, I was getting introduced to Shelly. And Shelly said, yeah, you're on stage. This is Corinne, by the way. Corinne is my co-host. Mm -hmm. Want to say something, Corinne, before you start? <laughs> Corinne is on that last weekend. I came all the way from Kansas. I flew 1,500 miles to be here. Um, I was diagnosed with um, stage one, almost stage two, um, uh, triple negative breast cancer last April. Um, it was very aggressive, uh, a grade three. Um, I just cried out to the Lord, Lord, show me what to do. I, I had no idea what I was going to do. Um, I was very much... Um, I've learned about Halloween Acres and um, Dr. Malkmus and how and that's he, a, uh, a raw, not a raw community, it's a more of a raw community. It is. Yes. Um, God's they, way. That's community. right. Okay. Um, he cured cancer. He ate 100% raw for a year and he had cancer the size of a baseball and um, it went away. So I've known that for a long time. Um, my mother was also diagnosed with um, ovarian cancer, went through the chemo and radiation. I saw all that went on with that, and I decided I'm not going in that route. So I decided to, um, through help of my doctor, who is an integrative doctor, he said, if you're going to do this, you need to go 100% raw and wow. for the rest your of your life. This? Yes. Wow. Wow. Um, so I said, okay. Um, I left, actually, I left that office saying, no yeah, way. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this. And then I got went home and heard my results of my test. Um, so I looked at my husband and I said, okay, here we go. And from that point on, I, I have just been eating 100% raw. Um, you gave up meat? I gave up meat. Meat, chicken? I, I gave up all Every. of it. Any animal product, no animal product went in my body. Wow. Um, just raw foods. Um, then I, still you are panicking. It's like, Lord, please show me. Guide me in this. Right. It's a scare um, tactic, too. Uh, the, my doctors wanted me to have chemo and radiation wow. right wow. away because of the aggressiveness. And I said, no, I'm going to try this. Because I knew that because of this grade three, this type of cancer, it would come back, um, even if I went through chemo and radiation. So I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the raw. Um, my integrative doctor, um, I don't know if I can say, but um, he um, gave me a, um, a little DVD on cancer healing cancer from the inside out. Um, Mike, Mike Anderson. By, um, Mike Anderson. And on there was um, a woman named Brenda Cobb, and she had both breast and ovarian cancer, and um, her mother died from it, her aunts died from it, and I began to perk up and listen. And so from there, um, she started a group called Living Foods Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. And I decided then that I was going to go. I didn't know how I was going to do that. It, you know, it was a very hefty amount to go for 15 days. So um, I just put it out there. My daughter graciously um, sent a letter to all my friends and said my mom wants to do this to help her in healing this cancer. And don't you know, I got every penny. Um, she gave me a stack of cards with tens and twenties and hundreds and, and paid for the whole trip. Um, that's our loving Father in Heaven. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> From there, um, I went for the 15 days. Five of the days was just, um, you know, juicing and, and detoxing. And the next 10 days were, you were in much like Michelle is doing here, we are in the kitchen preparing our raw and living foods. 
So that's really my story. Oh, very good. It actually made um, you cry a little bit. <laughs> Did you cry a little bit? Aww, that's, that's Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say anything? Yeah, after hearing this? No, after hearing this, it just solidifies and confirms that raw foods works. I know it works. It works for my family. It's working for myself. And I just feel so honored to be here to hear these stories. Um, it's been one story after another since I've been here for about 11 days. And um, there is anybody that sees this video, I just hope that, that you get a hold of this too because this, this works. It really does. I, I, I just wanted to say as well that I've had three uh, blood works done and they're all normal. Wait till you hear this. I had my blood cholesterol panel done. Two years ago, my triglycerides were 558. Today, they are 70. Wow. 70. My HDL was 76. My LDL was 125. You just can't beat that. <laughs> and, um, and you look amazing. Doesn't she look amazing? I did yes. lose 55 pounds. Yeah, I lost 55 pounds. And I'm back in you know, my almost yeah. 20s. Oh, wow. um, I just, my, my husband has a new wife. So this is fun. It's fun to prepare raw and living foods. Um, I'm just having a blast. And I can eat as much as I want and I don't get fat. It's just fun. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you yeah. very much. I don't say anything. I just speak. <laughs> anyway, this is live from Arnold's Way with another Hero Success Story. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a update on Jerry who had brain cancer. We just filmed another. We do it every day. We're doing a different success story. Anyway, live from Arnold's Way. Bye. <laughs>